basically the Quran says that it was raised to him. To Allah. Yeah. So if they, you don't know where Allah is. No, no. no. I cannot tell you where it is because in 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 in, in the Quran it says that is everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Mm. The, the, I cannot tell you in in in, in, in English, but. Uh, it's basically it's everywhere right? and here everything. Yeah, yeah, Allah is everywhere and everything. And I, we believe that about God too. We believe that God the Father is in everything and everything, right? But, but this, this verse says, yeah. and I'll read it out to you again, yeah? Chapter 4, verse 1 to 6, it says, Nay, Allah raised him up unto himself. So this is talking about Esau, and it's saying that Esau was taken to Allah. Yeah. So if Allah is everywhere, yeah. then Esau must be everywhere. That's what the Quran said. Maybe. This is this is what I mean. Right? It's, it's very but, problematic but, 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 in the Quran to yeah, believe but you that Jesus is not God. So you said Jesus is God. Yeah, because the Quran saying as well. No, it doesn't say that. It does, look, look, no, where, where was no. where was he? Like, no, no. If, if he, said, he said that he was raised to Allah. Where was yeah, Allah? Yeah, but it's, it's not God. It's not because you are with me that is you are God. You cannot claim that. But if I, but the Quran, yeah. if, God, if right. I tell you I, I bring him up with me, you cannot say that. You are God because you are with me. No, no, I understand. It's, it's, it's like I, me, yeah. I take my son and say, yeah, yeah, but my son is not me, even if he's with me. Of course, of course, of course. But the Quran is saying also that Allah is unlike his creation. It says that in chapter 42, verse 11, that Allah is unlike his creation. So he's not like creation. Yeah. So if he's not like creation, then how could Isa, who's mm -hmm. created, be with him who is in creation? Can I ask you something? Did Jesus say to the people who wanted to kill him, it was, I think, the... The, the Jewish say, "Why are you trying to kill me? Me who tell you the the truth that I heard from my from my father? You yeah. try to accomplish something evil by trying to killing me. Are you agree with that? So if, if if I ask you a question, will you answer my question? I asked you before. Okay, okay, but because um, you, you haven't asked my question first. Which, right. which is my which question is, was in chapter forty-two of verse eleven of the Quran. Yeah. It says that Esau was. Esau, no, it says that Allah is unlike creation. Yeah. So there's nothing in here like, or me and you, we're not like Allah. Yeah. You agree with that? Yeah. Am I like Allah? If, 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 You're not like if, Allah. If, if, if it's in the Quran, I do agree with everything in the Quran. Anyway. Right. The, the Quran says that there's nothing like Allah. That's yeah. what it says. Yeah. But Esau was taken to where Allah was. So how could Esau, who's like creation, because you believe that Esau is created, how could he be taken to uncreation? I cannot, I cannot answer that. On the source, that's no, the. No, because I don't want to tell things <laughs> I can't support. That's fine. Right. Yeah. But I want you, if you can answer my yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind. I'll ask you yeah. a question. Yeah. Right. Can you tell me, did you aware that Jesus said to the people who wanted to kill him, why you want to try to kill me? Me? He told you the truth that I've heard from my father. Yeah. Okay. He said, you want to try to accomplish something wrong, which means you're trying to accomplish something wrong from the devil. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Okay. No. okay, so let me let me get a verse up. Yeah. I'm gonna just look for it. So it's it's why why are you so repeat again, why are you trying to Yeah, you say why are you trying to kill me? Me who told you the truth from my heard from my father, you're trying to accomplish something from the the, the devil. Okay, I'll, I'll get the verse up, one minute. Um Okay, so it's John seven yeah, John 7, mm -hmm. 16 to 20. I'm going to get it up on my Bible. Yeah, I want to Come on, Bible, come on. Am I recording on video? No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's behind you. It's behind you. Yeah. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Sorry, bro. It's, no, it's okay, it's okay. No, I'm just asking you the question. Yeah, no problem. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna, do you have the verse? Yeah, yeah I'm going to get it right now. Um, so, John 7. John 7, 16 to 20. All right, so I'm going to read out to you. Yeah. Jesus answered and said, and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. Right? Mm -hmm. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. Mm -hmm. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory. So right, people speaking of themselves, they speak to boast themselves. Right? Mm -hmm. But he that seeketh his glory that sent him, the same is true and no unrighteous in him. So Jesus is saying, he's seeking the will of the Father, he's not seeking his own will. Right? Mm -hmm. Did not Moses give you the law, and yeah. yet none of you keep of the law? Mm -hmm. Why are you go about to keep, kill me? The people answered and said to him, Thou hast a devil, because they thought he had a devil when they said it. Right? Who goeth about to kill you? Because they thought he's mad. Yeah? Jesus answered and said unto him, I have done one work, and you all marvel. So you're, you're all confused. You're like, wow. Moses therefore gave unto you circumcision, not because it is of Moses, but of the fathers. And ye on the Sabbath day circumcised man. 
if a man on the Sabbath day receives circumcision, then that the law of Moses should not be broken. Are you angry at me because I've made a man wit whole on the Sabbath? So he's saying to them, like, are you angry at me because I healed a man on the Sabbath day, even though there's others that perform circumcision on the Sabbath? By the way, circumcision, do you know what circumcision is? Yeah, I don't yeah, have to. Yeah. Right, so that's a work. Yeah, yeah. And on the Sabbath day, you're not to engage in any works. Right? So this is basically, this is, Jesus is showing the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. They're claiming that, oh, he's, he's, he's broken the Sabbath by healing on that day, but they commit circumcision on that day. Right? Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. So I want to I wanna know what you seem to be getting out of that verse. Because okay. the verse to me makes sense. No, no, because the, the, the people are trying to kill him. Yeah, they're trying to kill him. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. And they say to them, you try to accomplish something from the devil, which means an evil act by trying no, to kill him. No, no, he didn't say that. He said that. No, no, the, the, the Pharisees said to him, if you, read, if you heard what I read, right? He said, the Pharisees said to him, you are of a devil. That's he what they said, said to he Jesus. Said, he, said, he said that you try to accomplish something from it, an act, a devil act. A devil act by trying to kill him. I, I've got a verse here, bro. Okay, the, the, remember, it's the, it's the Pharisees. So the people answered and said, Thou hast a devil who go about to kill thee. So it's the people, in fact, that are telling Jesus he has a devil. It's not Jesus himself okay. telling them that. Even though he does say that they're of their father Satan in John 8 44, that's not a problem. No, it's a problem for me. And I will try you to try and understand me because yeah. he, he said to people that the fact that he wants to kill them is an evil act. How is this act could be a redemption and salvation? And, 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 and save them. Okay. Because, because you understand my point? I'll, I'll get your point now. Okay, no, no. so in, in the Old Testament, it says that anybody breaks one of the sins of the law. So anybody breaks one sin of the law. So if you, let's say, you commit adultery yeah. or you lie, you are condemned to death. Yeah. Right? Yeah. In the Old Testament, there were sacrifices from, from the very first time in Genesis 3, right? We see that sacrifice, sins, were, sorry, skins were sac sac sacrificed. So the sins of animals were taken and used as clothes for Adam and Eve because they had committed the sin of, of well, turning against God and being prideful. They'd eaten from the tree of good and evil. By doing so, oh, there's a lot of people, right? By doing so, they essentially brought sin into the world. Right? So what continuously kept on happening is from the time of, uh, so from the time of Adam all the way to Moses, and so on and so forth. People were committing a manifold load of sins, right? What they did in the Old Testament, according to Leviticus and according to Deuteronomy, they would sacrifice animals for atonement to God for sins. Right? This was a blood sacrifice, as it says in Genesis 8, right? That the blood of a life of man, the, so the blood of man is in the life of man. And it also says in Leviticus that without, the, without blood, there will be no remission of sins. Right? So blood is deemed as a very important symbol for God because it is the life of man. So in, in, in essence, right, the life of man is taken for the life of another man, ultimately. Long story short, Jesus himself being the atonement for us, he is he's sinless. So he's he's, he's a perfect sacrifice. And also because he is eternal, because he is God, his, his that one sacrifice atones for every manifold of sins, including the manifold of sins we have, or you do, or what whoever, whoever on the planet will do. So ultimately, like that's that's what the atonement is. Right? When they killed Christ, it was an evil act, granted. But the fact is. Them killing him wasn't a sin. He, what God was doing, he was using evil for good, and the Bible does speak about God using evil for good. Right? So he used their wicked act of killing him to show not only it was God, but that there is a now a new sacrifice. Sin. There is now a new blood sacrifice. That's why in Luke 22 it says there's a new covenant for sins. I mean, you, you understand what I'm saying? I understand the atonement can be confusing. That's why it was because to me. And uh, to me, God is fair. You agree with me? And 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 and, and but later on, they changed the Jesus translation. Said that he was sacrificed for the people. I don't get these these things because for me, it cannot support my 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 mistakes. Well, how we, how we see it is, look, if if, the, if you are to be punished for your sins, right? Let's say you have a father, right? Your father's uh, he's a he's a judge in court, right? You have a bunch of parking fines, right? A ton, right? And you can't pay them. What what our God does because we we do believe that Jesus is God. So what God does is instead of you paying that fine for you, He says, "Look, you believe in Me, and I will take that on myself." So this this isn't the case where, oh, God sacrificed His Son. Why would He do that? No, 
the son has allowed himself to take on the punishment that was due to mankind because he loved us. Yeah, but I understand your point, and if I can respond to that, then I don't think it's, so you know why, because you, you, you're talking to me about uh, of the, okay, but some people are making very bad mistakes, like killing people. Of course Hitler, they are, yeah. Hitler, of course for example, they are. He killed thousands of people, and if he thinks that Jesus is, 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 is dead for, for a sacrifice, will he go to the, to the paradise or to the hell? If he believes that he's dead on the cross, because you have to believe on the redemption. To go yeah, to you have to believe. So Hitler was killing thousands of people who was believing in Jesus, and you know that. No, he wasn't. He, he was. No, he wasn't. If you, if you, if you actually study, so he had an idea of Christianity that was false. He was so, a pagan. So, 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 no, no, allow me to finish, okay. because you made a claim, so yeah. I want to answer it. Right? Yeah. Hitler had an idea of pagan. Christianity. He didn't believe that Jesus was God. Go and look it up on Wikipedia. In fact, go and get your phone. Look up. He didn't believe that Jesus was God, which is a fundamental tenet of Christianity. He did not believe that Jesus Christ atones for sins, which is fundamental Christianity. He wasn't a Christian. He was a pagan. He was about as well as much denying God as Stalin was. Okay. So, so, so he, again, first game you've made is very foolish. Change that. If he was believing, because there's people who's killing. People of people what, what we will say is that so, any what we will say is that if you're in unrepentant sin, let's say let's say like first of all like you was a Christian, mm -hmm. you've given your life to Christ, okay. and then you go out and you just murder a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. That's unrepentant sin, and you'll be cast out. So you think it's fair to, to kill people and just believing that because Jesus is going to? You didn't hear what I said, did you? No, no maybe because okay. Going, okay. So well, my point is, if you as a if you are a professed to be a Christian yeah. and you go out there and commit mortal sins like killing people or yeah, raping, killing, yeah. then you'll rightly deserve the punishment of hellfire. That's what I believe. I am. You will lose your salvation. That's what you believe. That's, that's what. Well, that's what the Bible teaches. Uh, okay, because it doesn't. Okay, okay. Yeah, I could, okay. I could show you from very various different passages. In fact, I could show you one passage. Let me show you this passage because I think this is prominent to justify my position. Because if we have a consistent God, then He's not going to allow these people into heaven. All right? I want to. I want to show you one Corinthians six. Got a lot of put marks here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's seven. Yeah. All right, so this is what it says, right? Know you not that the unrighteous... So who the unrighteous, bro? I just want to ask you a question. Who's the unrighteous? No, no, no. Can you, can I read the Yeah, you can, yeah, you can. Go ahead. So I want you to know, know you not that the unrighteous... Ah, okay. Who are the unrighteous? Unrighteous. Who would be unrighteous to you? Uh, the people who's making sins. Well, not just that, but like, because there, there's differences between... Like, let's say you lie. Yeah. Are you telling me that you don't deserve heaven? If, if I lie... Let's say you lie once, right? Let's say you, you told a white lie to protect somebody. Are you yeah. telling me you're, you're not deserving heaven? No, it, it, it depends on the thing to me. To me or, or what I'm trying to tell you is... Right, uh, right, so you, you, you tell, you're, 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 you're a bit confused. Yeah. So let me, let me just go through what it says, all right? So it says this, right? Know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. So the unrighteous are those who continue in yeah. unrepentant sins. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I get so it, it, let's say I murder and I murder and I'm like, you know what? I don't care, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then okay. I am going to hell. According to this verse, I'm going to read it out to you. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be ye not deceived. Don't be deceived, right? Don't be confused. Neither fornicators, mm -hmm. nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. So gay people, right? Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. So all these so, people, all this people is making these sins won't so go to the... They will not go to heaven, okay. including if, murderers. If, if they do repeatedly the same thing, they start failing. Second. If they do the same things again and again and again. So if they, if, if they live in unrepentant sin and okay. they don't repent of it, let's say you axe, let's say you got your, you're cutting down a tree, right? Mm. And your axe cuts somebody, right? And it's an accident. You've killed somebody, yeah. essentially. Are you saying that God's going to say, look, you're going to hell because you murdered somebody? No, but it depends no. on the... It depends, it depends on, on the... the, 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 the sin and the intention. The intention, if I, exactly. If, if I drive my car and I crush somebody and I kill him, it's not like I want to kill him to take his money, you know? What, what this verse is saying is that those who are intentionally sinning, those yeah, yeah. who are intentionally homosexuality, those who are intentionally murdering, those who are doing sins, they will go to hell. So the, when it comes to your atonement, brother, we don't believe that, oh, you're forgiven of your sins so you can do whatever you want. No, you live for Christ. And that shows your faith. In fact, it says in James 2, for example, that faith without works is dead. 
I you show me your works, but you show me your faith by showing your works. If you believe in God, you should be showing that. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? It has to show me something. No, 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 it's important for me. That's well, fine. I, 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 oh, I want to give you something really quickly, actually. I think I've got it here. Oh, I haven't no, it's, got I think it. it's okay. You know, it was good to, to talk with you. And I was going to give you a. You want to give me right. something? Next time, next. She's got. Are you, are you going to be here next no, week? Because I have the, to give you a. Yeah, I'll come. I'll come maybe next week. Bro. All right, all right. See you next week, bro. Take care, man.